Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to our co-op playthrough here with me as Carcassonne and uh, Tom playing as uh, Orion and uh, t I, t Talcian? I can't pronounce it, I don't know. It's where, good enough. Yeah, where we've been, we've been clawing things back, we took Moosley on last turn and uh, Tom has taken the risk of dropping down here to fight a battle he needs to fight some elves to try and win a battle and get some confederations off we'll see how it goes however Fingers and i am crossed. currently chasing noctilus out of my territory i'd like to get a peace treaty with him at least for the time being so that i can uh, have some peace <laughs> i need to go find a, a battle to fight at sea at some point oh uh we have a fight or to resolve, I would lose a hell of a lot. Uh, it is a Pyrrhic victory. We should be able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just... Okay, this is... The gunnery mobs are annoying. They do have some artillery, but I have reasonable cavalry. Um, uh, two units of cavalry. But one unit is Grail Guardians. I actually think that the incredibly veteran Gale Guardians has slightly longer range. Yeah, it's a I think it's a blessed trebuchet. It is, so no friendly fire. Um Actually, that is my favorite unit in the game, the Imperial Special Mortars because they have no friendly fire. I never knew that, but they are a bit crap because they don't do armor piercing. Yeah, but I oh. mean, come on. Oh, 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 look, look, look at how we're going to cheese them. Oh, out of sight of the artillery behind the hill. Yeah, we're basically, no, 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 they're, they're reinforcing from behind. Oh, oh, please, please, please just surround I'm, them with infantry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really mean here. There you go. I got what? I've got the cavalry. Oh, fuck, I meant to keep the cavalry. Can I have the cavalry <laughs> back? Give, 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 give me the cavalry. <laughs> give me the cavalry and the paladin, please. Uh, and the lord? Or do you want to... No, she shouldn't be offensive. She's not an offensive lord. She's a caster. Um, if things so... get over what r overwhelming, I might take one of the flags. But I'm planning on basically using these guys, being very, very mobile with these guys. So if I do this... Basically, charge straight in. Yeah. Uh, are you That's keeping the ranged up front? I haven't moved them yet. I was going to say. Basically, we want to wipe this flank out lightning fast. I think this is the... I don't think this is Noctilus. I think this is the smaller faction. So, I should... Pr uh, where should I put... I'm going to keep the artillery where I put it, actually. In the woods. There. Yeah. And obviously, we have Lady back. Oh, yeah. I, have, I didn't... I Let's go. forgot about the lady. Yep. Who's haste? As you say. Hastily. With haste. Oh, this is one with artillery. Some of the artillery. I think that's pretty much his entire army. So we might not have really needed this much here, but I mean, come on. You got to you got to do it. Sometimes you just got to Uh, right, break and reform because we do not want to be this clustered as soon as their artillery gets into range. I know. I I had already thought that. I'm already doing that. The paladin will murder the uh pole arm ad the pole arm guy. So where? Uh... He's already dead. I'm going to use the trebuchet on the carronades, I think. Mm. Basically, I'm going to try and get the cavalry straight round behind. The reason I gave you the full army was because I'm going to try and get the cavalry round to deal with their pain in the butt with their artillery fast. Moving 
Uh, remember, for mortars, you actually want to be in long. You don't want to be squared. Yeah, but they do only have one full unit of mortars. Yeah, and they're actually targeting me. Yeah. As soon as they get in range here, they are going to be... Uh... Oh, you've no realised you've only left my one unit of uh, infantry against their lord. Oh, uh, fuck, their lord was actually dying already when I left. Yeah, no, he's perfectly fine. Utilizing your lady's speed <laughs> to tell me. I'm about to utilize their bloated corpse. Oh, <laughs> Did it work? Yep. I'm about to utilize their second bloated corpse too. Oh, that one wasn't quite so good. Right, so. Uh, if you're wanting to plan to go off without hitch, I could do some reinforcements very soon. I'm, I'm hitting their artillery first, mate. But the paladin is on his way back. I've basically split their force immensely, though. Uh, I have a bloat. Oh, God. Yeah, you want to deal with that. Yeah, I'm going to have... Uh, run away, run away. Ah, oh, God damn it. My paladin's got stuck. Uh, we've yeah. basically dealt with their artillery. I'm moving back in now. I actually not so sure their artillery was the issue at this moment. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm heading back in. The Grail Guardians are coming in, and Grail Guardians are like gods. Oh, my paladin is stuck in the middle of a load of goddamn halberdiers. Their artillery is done. I'm clearing their range on the left flank. Yeah, no, that they're fine. You, you can. Uh, where Where do you need me? I need you right in the centre. Oh like, yeah. Not, yeah, no, I. I don't I'm have playing. anything which can kill Count Noctilus, mate. Count Noctilus is Count Noctilus. He is insanely powerful. My paladin is running. I can't even get to him. Your best bet would actually to be try and range, range him down. Yeah, I did. He just came ballsing in. <laughs> right, my Grail Guardians are on there. Pull other people back. I am doing so. So even my Grail Guardian, because he's an anti-large lord, so he will eat my everything. My paladin is basically dead, but he did his job. He kept half their army off you. Well, if you want to move, I've got two sword infantry units on him. Yeah, it really isn't a good idea for me to look at the damn. I'm getting the Grail Guardians out. He's basically killed them already. I'm hitting their vampire fleet captain with them. I'm uh, keeping those gunnery mobs, bombers, uh, held while you move in. Thank you. Oh, these guys are rallied. Oh, you got uh, pole arm guys. Yeah, no, I know, in. I know, I know. I was just holding there while you got in position. I'm getting them out now. Uh, get the Fae Enchantress out of there, please. Uh, yeah, happily. No, it's just uh, he was killing that guy. Nice, it's over. Quite comfortably. It's over. Hey. Fun one, but... A bit more intense than it needed to be, probably. <laughs> yeah, the archers did a good job again. <laughs>
it literally Count Noculus did pretty much, and one bloated mm. corpse got all their kills. Yeah, that one bloated corpse. Unfortunately, I did not see that coming, and it just took out half of two spearman units. Yeah, no, it was Count. No so my Grail Guardians were pretty much at full strength at the start of that. Count Noctilus ripped about a third off their strength. Hey, give the Fey Enchantress some credit. She actually managed to kill a fair few, few units. Hey, it's not terrible, but that does free me up to be able to head your way. And it might have leveled her up enough so she's got a vow, which might mean I'll be able to repl get some extra. Because this also sounds daft. If I'd had more cavalry in there, cavalry work really well against Vampire Coast. The lady yeah, because they've only got really... Their high-tier halberdier unit is it's, actually... It's not... good, but it's small. Yeah, and it's not really a defensive unit. Right, let's see what this... Oh, okay. I could just pay the Bowman of Orion to confederate with them. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am glad that I did that. Uh... Oh, now the thing is, I'm going to just get these guys to join this army rather than... Yeah, merge armies. Yeah. Get those Waywatchers in. Waywatchers are so overpowered. War dancers? Oh, they're the think? one where there's the really funny thing, because they've got an augment which makes them really... They've got an ability which makes them... How the hell do they have 30% physical resistance? Uh, Because? Since when do they the have them? That makes them much more powerful than they used to be. I am ready. Should I put them into the army? Yeah, and the Way Watchers. Yeah, the already force. done the Way Watchers. I go then. Um, Away I go. No, those war dancers actually look quite good. But no, there's they're what the unit which there's a special thing with where they've got an ability you can use and it makes them scary. Shield of right. Athel Lauren. You can go bye bye. Lord of Athel. And... Well, that's always the thing I find a bit tricky with elves is what because melee units just feel a bit of a waste for them. If I'm honest. Yeah. Oh, completely. I'm just deciding what buildings to keep together. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of their elven cavalry units. Opinions? Uh, they're not bad. They're not Bretonian. It's just because uh, obviously my lord gets uh, oh, what's it called? Massive. Do you know who I am? Benefit with. Uh... Yeah. Great God. I'll have your soul. Mm. You're cool, man. Highborn. You, call... you do need some melee, and they're useful for holding things. So as the elves, you should be at least, at least half your army should be ranged. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the cavalry. I'm going to demolish the cavalry. I think. Can I offer assistance? And, uh... Besides the new ones, the, um, the, 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 um... Oh, whatever they're called. The... Ah, oh, the lizard things. The lizard men? No, you get like a half lizardy unit. Who calls me heads? Looks almost like a dragon ogre, but a forest one. Zote. What? The Zote? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm never quite sure how to use them. Yeah, they're a uh, interesting one because they're meant to be, like, they're they're kind of a mix of everything. They can fight, but they're more buffers. Yeah, because they're spellcasters as well, which yeah. is it's an odd one. I mean, law-wise, they're meant to be much more. 
<laughs> maintain. Okay, I've got a mission to maintain and I completed it. Okay. Weird. Well to done. To maintain I'm in, I'm lower corruption in a region. <laughs> I hear the winds. Okay. I've actually got thirty six percent scathing corruption. Last mistake. For now, so I've yes. moved out of uh, Musleon and I've gone into um, Ambush Stance. I will no. take Attrition, but I'm hoping the Red Duke falls yeah. for it and comes and attacks me. And I'm uh, moving the lady up towards uh, your woods again. Sensible choice. Once you die, your body. Now. Welcome. I really want to attack and raise, uh, just leave an army down here to you constantly keep attacking and raising the Tomb Kings. <laughs> right, I've ended turn, I've built up a bit, so yeah. It, the issue is if you lose your settlement. I would it's... leave it for now, because you've got enough of a war up top. Well, you say that, have you seen the garrison at King's Glade now? Oh, it's probably insane. And Durthu is offering me peace. I'm going to accept peace with Durthu. You get. Well, no, you... Traitor! No. Traitor! I'm sorry. You're, like... I can confederate these people with ease once I've achieved certain... Uh... Traitor! You'll forgive me in the end. <laughs> I won't. I'll never forgive you. Traitor! Go to war with you. Wipe you out. Take your home settlement. I mean, I've already basically fleed from there. I'm not... <laughs> Unwise. Right. But it's kind of why I like dwarves more than most factions. Because dwarves way. just feel a bit more... Um, Grudge-bearing? Standard. They've got good endgame infantry. I'm definitely an infantry man, an infantry general. Oh, here we go. Am I? I've got an ink forest encounter with Tomb Kings. Am I going to fight it? I really want to fight it. If you want to fight it, we can fight it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right. You can have a look at their army. <laughs> But remember, we have got the uh, the Deepwood Scouts. Um, their artillery is the dangerous thing. If we yeah. can neutralize their artillery and the chariots, um, and we have Vanguard deployment, which is going to help massively. Oh yes, we have to. Hey, hey, hey! There's some trees over here. You can go and sit in. You know, some little palm trees in the corner <laughs> of a map. Yeah, I've only got one unit without Vanguard deployments. Uh, do you think it's best just to... Uh, we can't actually put the units behind. Um, I could... Yeah, because of the thing, we can't even put them in the corner. How many units do you want? Half of them. Uh, are you wanting Deepwood Scouts or a mix? I will let you choose. Oh. You know what? I'm going to give you a s slight mix. If you want to, you could give me your two units of Way Watchers, and I could do a, a stealth mission behind to get rid of their uh, catapults, but it'll take too long, probably. Yeah, it would take too long, unfortunately. Eager and ready. Let's just see what the range is if I go. So. The artillery, oh, you would gave we... me a melee unit. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> There's a part of me quite tempted to have suggest that we have the all the arch units go basically go to a two flank approach. You can't use the flanks. 
Yeah, but then we split the army down the middle. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm basically going to push in from here and hit them as best I can. So then if I... I want to start off within a range of them. Yeah. Yeah, just being able to start off with an arrow range of the enemy, just... Yeah, basically just focus fire units down. The thing which is probably the biggest threat is that Tomb Scorpion, so I would get your Way Watchers on that early if you can. I'm ready. Uh, I love where you're like, look at my formation compared to yours, man. <laughs> the thing is, you're saying this like it is needed to... Uh... They've got a lot of fast movers. They do have a lot of fast movers. But that's what I'm hoping my lord will come into effect. Right, you ready? Go for it. This instant. Grouped and ready. It shall be done. Swiftly. I'm trying to hit their uh, catapults to start with. Nice. Athol Lauren! Bowman ready! As you command! Quickly! Athol Lauren! Okay, hitting their Ushabti, which are charging me. Kill them! Uh, I've almost taken out Tomb Scorpion. Uh, there you shabbed you crumbling. Nice. Oh, I found this. Your war dancers are dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> I I, I kind of had to use them to try and keep them off me. Their catapults are what are causing me the biggest issue at the moment. No, that's 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 fair. Killing their king. Kill their king. Kill their king. I my flank. I didn't. I've not done a huge amount, but they are crumbling, and I'm basically running. I'm basically just stuck in skirmish mode. I'm trying to focus their king at the moment because obviously they'll take a big hit. If you could take out those catapults, they're probably doing the most that's, damage. That's what I'm going for now. There, the tomb king is is crumbling. Nice. I'm hoping killing him will crumble for it, cause the rest of them to crumble fairly quick. And, that's, yeah, that's happening. They're crumbling. He's gone. Yeah, because they're on their own. They don't have a settlement. Right Taking away. him out finished them utterly. Nice. It doesn't always seem to happen anymore, but it is. I think Tomb Kings, it's much more likely to happen with. Yeah. To be fair, that's probably what we, sh we should just try to focus fire the king straight away. Because we, yeah. as the elves, we probably could have done that. Well, I don't know how it, how it works anymore. Because it used to work with vampire counts as well, really well, and it doesn't anymore. Yeah. I mean, it it felt an odd battle because I basically didn't really do much controlling of units in it. There was, I mean, there wasn't much need. <laughs> um. Going. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to try and go for... Uh... The settlements around you. Yeah. Oh, it just seems to make sense. 
I need to try and make to defend for Avon now that you've abandoned me. I haven't abandoned you so much as uh, you the trade. Well, the thing is, I'm constantly assaulting their army, which seems to be uh, putting them off. Betrayed and abandoned. Oh, well, you'll get over it. Oh, that's the other thing we could do if once we finish this one. We could do a uh, dual Beastman playthrough. Oh, I was going to say a dual Horde one, but... I could do Beastmen and Chaos, but... Hmm. That would definitely be an interesting one. I could play Torox, because I've not actually played him yet. Futile. I could play the guy with the harpies. <laughs> you know the one I mean. Because <laughs> you know how much you love harpies. Shadowgrave, the worst unit in the game. Yes, I yes. Yeah. Uh, Come on. I have a lot. I've just got no a rain of spines, which gives reload reduction for my whole army the on hunter. my lord. Oh, God. <laughs> and that was meant to be an evil cackle. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Oh, Mr. Red Duke, you fool. I do actually need to fight this, though. Oh, did you manage to lure him out? Yeah, he walked out because he couldn't see me. Well, mostly zombies. Yeah, this shouldn't be a difficult battle for us to win at all. Uh, I assume you're just going to try and assault them whilst in the water for the penalties they receive. Pretty much. I'm going to give you the infantry. If you basically get the infantry to pull them in, and then I'll try and sweep around and just rip them to pieces. Or, I, well, actually, I was thinking I'll just move the archers forward. Yeah. I'll leave, leave the uh, infantry back to as a fallback position and just see what we can lure out. Uh, do you want me to focus the Red Duke or... Up to you. I think I'm going to focus Red Duke. It seems the logical... choice in this situation. And what's even better, I can have a Grail Reliquary following them. I'd basically move up kind of along here. I remember you have no penalties in water. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. And they're moving forward. Basically, taking no damage from these arrows. Drive them down. Can you hit the skeleton the spears, please? Uh, I can't see where they are. You mean with the archers or? Uh, whatever you can, basically. Archers, I can. I'm sending in some reinforcements if you want to try and go in the rear. Yeah, if you can pin them there, that'd be perfect. Let's just move my archers back a little bit.
Ripping some of their zombies to pieces briefly. At speed. Moving a base. Hastily. Attack. Immediately. Trample down. Yeah, I'm just trying to so, reduce the numbers a bit. Yeah, I'm getting in behind the main sort of cluster of them at the moment. Yeah. Well, luckily, I think my infantry are holding the line fairly well there. I mean, they're, they're gonna crumble now. Right, I'm going back to focus firing the Red Duke. Their main the force is now crumbling utterly there. That's exactly how we want it. I seek. Well, the Battle Pilgrims are doing a fantastic Advance. job That's again. That's their job. That's literally what they're designed to do is just hold stuff. Just cycle charging a bit. Okay. The Red Duke is still at full health. Even yeah, he is. Arches. He's a vampire lord. He heals as he fights. Yeah. There's no point the archers. Basically, our best way of killing him is actually lowering his morale by fighting everything else. The downside is he's slow. He is slowly killing my lord. For the lion. It's over. Other than him, it's they're they're all going now. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Basically, pull everything but my lord away because he heals whenever anybody else dies around him. So leave the Paladin and my Lord fighting the Red Duke and get everything else out of there. Except the Archers. Yeah. But run them away from him. You don't want him getting into, into them at all. Oh God, no. <laughs> Basically, the further away he is from everybody, the better. Oh, glorious crumbling of skeletons with his mass of cavalry just pressing on uh, their rear. Actually, the White King's still okay. Um, he's the same. I'll try and get some cavalry over to assist with him, but... Uh, he doesn't have healing, though, so I'll just have my infantry keep him down. And we are now. You see, now the Red Duke is not in the big midst of a load of people. He's actually dying. Oh, some of their units are getting back. Let's charge them. Glory! Nope, uh, we can... We've got the arrows coming in on the... Blow the what do you he's, he's about to crumble. Yeah. He's about to die. Yeah, it's it's over. Go. There we yeah. go. It's over. And even their battle pretty My pill, their right your... lord is now crumbling. Nice. All the dead skeletons in this water. It's beautiful. A few dead knights. Yeah, the reliquary got three kills. <laughs> the cavalry utterly won the day there. Um, look at the battle pilgrims. Yeah, battle <laughs> pilgrims are surprisingly good. They are really good at just holding a line. Remember though, those kills are mostly zombies. Yes. Just, just, just remember this. Oh yeah, they are a good low-level unit. If you see what I mean. Yeah. Taking my leave. Blessings of the lady be upon you. It shall be so. I'm dropping into amber stance again. I think Ooh. the uh, knights deserve a level up after that. <laughs> so I'm leveling up defense on my uh, 
paladins first. I always do that because I just feel it's much. It were it, it's safer. I'm exactly the same. I usually go for armor first. Defense is actually better for meta wise. Defense is better than armor Maybe. because if yeah. they don't land a hit, it doesn't your armor doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Right, I've dropped my army into ambush stance. Let's hope he uh, moves. Did he pick a location with a good ambush chance? I kind of stayed where I was because I couldn't do much. Middle of the fucking swamp. And it is in woods. Oh, so it come on. Be. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I call you to war with Thoric Ironbrow? It's not going to affect me, so do it. No, I break my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, Thoric. I'd only just arrived in this area, and you would declare war on me straight away. Basically, I'm hoping, because the, the zombies are recruiting. He stayed out of the settlement. The Egypt. Protector of the realm. But the question is, My do you have uh, enough forces to take it? We will Never find mind. out. Alright, I guess I'm going for Karak Zorn first. <laughs> I thirst for the hunt. Will be an it wasn't in one. my original plan. But, you know. Got to adapt. You can play um Orion Orion in a um Orion's camp in uh, one of the deal one of the mods. Oh. Um Obviously, it's the same whole campaign. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be my turn. Nice, nice, nice and simple. I think Aurelian has just got Zomb Zeds, so we'll see. End your turn, then? Uh, sorry, I'm just seeing if anyone wants to actually trade with me. Why would people want to trade with you? Blech. Because, yeah, I'm no longer at war with wood elves. <laughs> yes. So I can. Monster. And hey, it's, I I I'm need wise. to not be at war with My them. My friendship to... is actually shooting up with them now, so they should not hopefully what, what peace with me sooner rather than later. Attack. Yeah. Mm. Uh, not sure about. I'm not sure about this. Ugh. Reckon we can win this? I can't see it, so... It is an army of skeletons. Uh, four units of grave guard. Two crypt ghouls. Remember, skeletons get the uh, missile resistance. Yeah. It's a valiant... It's predicting a valiant defeat. Hmm. But... If I win this, Musulon is dead. I think I've got to risk it. It's my already battered army being the problem. Yeah. I'm just... <sighs> We're fighting it. Yeah. This episode's going to have gone on a bit longer than I meant to, but never mind. <laughs> the good thing is, there's no anti-large. No anti-arge, no archers, so we can control the pace of the battle. I'm trying to decide where, how we should do the archers, whether we should. I assume we're going straight in. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not even gonna be subtle. I'm gonna do a massed cavalry charge straight across the field at them to start with. I think that's probably my best bet to start with. Are so if, you going to go at their lord straight away? No, because he's a blood dragon. I will send my lord and my paladin against their lord. But I may lose my paladin. And I'm going to do a massed charge. Against their right flank. So if you move up fast to engage. Um, I think that's our well, best bet. You ready? I was thinking if you... I, I need units first. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, if you go for a charge on the right flank, do you want me to distract the left flank? So... Yeah, basically. 
But basically, I want to I want to rip these skeletons apart as quickly as possible. All right, let me just get my and my lord and my paladin are going to go straight at the blood dragon. Technically, he is weak compared to us. Yeah, about the same time. Uh, Hang on, I just need to move my units so they don't get in the way of the cavalry. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm as good to go as... I've done a lot to charge. Excellent. So if you lock a unit, then control charge. They will stay in formation as they charge, and they'll charge right across the front. And this is dangerous because I am charging the front of units, so this is where the cavalry beater might down me, but they're only skellies. And they're moving, which helps. Yeah. Right, I'm already um, I'm cycling out before we get overwhelmed and surrounded. Oh, I was uh, sending in infantry as we Oh, no, that's fine. That's good. I want you doing that. Because that gives me far more flexibility. Because now um, they're pulling units apart so I can circle some of their units and overwhelm them on the, the corner. seem to be doing okay on your flank. For how long? Yeah, Not this much is... longer the reinforcements are almost here. Yeah, I'm trying to help. I'm, I'm getting into your I'm getting units into the rear now to assist you. Show us the bow. Yeah, I didn't manage to take out their lord, annoyingly. They are crumbling already, though, which is good. Yeah. Uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> language. Uh, our lord. Oh no, I'm pulling our lord out. He's he's real. He's in real trouble. YouTube's actually okay with you swearing, so long as you don't swear too much. <laughs> right. I've got cripples coming in. Yeah. But hopefully. I'm Oh, I've, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose the, what, that one of those units. All right, battle pilgrims versus grave guard. It's gonna be, it's gonna happen. Ooh, I'm trying not to get caught between the grave guard. Yeah, I'm trying my best to hold this flank. It's. I'm trying to support you, man, but I need time to get. I need yep. you to just hold for a bit. There you go. And now I can now get in and support you. It's all the skeletons which are the problem. Yeah, there's so many other things. Uh, that's the real issue in this battle was how many skeletons. And I think we did a good job at the start. Right, the line's breaking somewhat, so, yeah. I am supporting, but I need to be careful or I will get utterly caught here. The Paladin is running. The Lord is with you, but he's nearly down. We may not win this, but it was worth a try. 
Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, cavalry, get out! Squeeze out that cat! Oh god! Damn! I'm, I'm, I'm getting... No, no, no! Oh! Oh, their blood dragon is at full... Uh... Yeah, because he heals when he's in a fight. Oh. We're not doing this. Worth Dude. a try. It was worth the risk. At least you'll have uh, more income for a while. Retreat. Fall back. Get everybody out. Get everybody out. Run away. Right. Get what you... Save what you can, basically. I hate oh, it when you tell one. people to retreat. If they then rout. And they'll then rally themselves. It's annoying. Yeah. Come on, Battle Pilgrims. You've got to survive at least. I'm uh, triple timing. Uh... If we'd fought one army, we'd have done it. I mean, look how many smegging kills we actually got. I mean, look at... Come on. you got to give the archers credit. If you look at the oh, yeah. damage they actually did... Oh, yeah, and the, I mean, the archers, the cavalry, all did a case. I mean, we killed four times as many of them as we lost. That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Damn it, I lost both of my units of Knights of the Realm. I need you to click the tick, man. Yeah, sorry, I was just looking at the losses. Protector just to... Uh... Uh, can Fall they get other... back. That's probably not far enough. I am going to peace out with him for now. Yes. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> I can actually get some money off him as well, so. Yes. There you okay. go. I got 1,700 and we peaced out. Um, it, was, it was worth the try. But, yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah, that it. is where we're going to have to end it, guys, because we've uh, gone massively over this time. As always, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe. If you want to see us getting our butts kicked a bit more, say hi to Tom down in the comments as well. And um, as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members, Monsters Abound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jared, Jared Horn, and an extra special thank you to William Farmer. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Cheers, guys.